all right hello welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well i hope these few weeks have treated you guys very well i know i haven't posted and there was a legitimate reason for it but i'm gonna get to that in this video we're gonna talk about the surgery that i had to do and why i had to do it and we're also going to talk about the different things that are coming into my instagram and to the youtube channel itself little things guys i'm super excited so if you want to keep going on this beautiful journey with me please subscribe to this channel i love you guys so very much keep being amazing people that you are and let's get into this video love you guys okay guys so video of the day so here is the real reason why i did not post for a very long time i was generally posting to pass time with all these product posting and just explaining the products and what they do for you, uh, basically. But what had happened was I was in way too much pain. So since I was in a lot of pain, I knew that it was time to just cut it off for a bit. Um, so I left because I had to do surgery. So while I was in re like slowly getting to that day, so the day that I had surgery was September 13 of this year. Uh, it was crazy. It was on a Tuesday. I had to wake up early at 8 o'clock in the morning, get ready, get dressed, and go to the hospital with my sister, her husband, and my best friend, Anthony. We all went to together, so he was there. Most of you know Anthony as my ex-fiance, but he is also my friend, and I really do appreciate him being there and, you know, staying here taking care of me as much as he could so i really do appreciate him with all my heart honestly you guys have no idea but besides that point <laughs> let me tell you about the surgery and what went down so you guys can get a little bit of clear idea of what exactly happened okay we're just yeah <laughs> Okay, so the surgery that I had to do because of the pain that I was feeling, it was actually a cyst on my right side of my ovary. It was about five centimeters the last time we uh, measured it. It probably grew, who knows? I didn't really look at those paperwork because I didn't want to. But there was a pollock on top of the cyst and what the pollock does is that it's preventing the cyst from popping. So all the cyst is doing is growing and growing and growing, which is causing me more pain on my right side and I, I physically could not do it guys I was crying all the time because of how painful it was now then when we got up and we went to the surgery I had to do a bunch of stuff uh when they were preparing me they freaked me out like three times jerks of people honestly uh one of them told me he needed to do two ivs which was false the other one told me I was going to have a tube inserted into me uh while I was doing my surgery, which was 100% true, but I wasn't going to feel it because I was going to be asleep. Uh, didn't tell me that part till like later. That's when everybody told me that through the tube, they were going to put me to sleep. So I wasn't going to feel it and I wasn't even going to know it was going to be there. So there was no reason to tell me that. But it's protocol like my sister kept telling me that they need to tell you what they're going to do in the surgery. So you're not surprised if you have pain in your lips or I had a swollen on my lip for sure. So yeah, so really guys, um, so what happened after was I was in recovery after waking up because they used anesthesia on me and I have never had that. So it's just like knocks you out. So when I woke up in recovery, I kept asking the guy, I guess I was in a very nice patient according to my sister. Um... I tend to tell the guy that I wanted to go home and to send me home and then to get the hell away from me practically is what I was telling the guy, the poor man. Uh, but he said I'm a special patient. He brought my sister and my sister told me all the information that I just told you guys. Um, and now I have the same thing as my sister. So we both have Andrew and Mishiosis. If I can't say it, I'm sorry. But I'm going to put a picture right here explaining what it is and what I'm probably going to be on birth control because of this. And hopefully it helps. It, I'm going to have to do treatment. It's something I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. But hey, beautiful things happen for a reason. And you know, that's why I'm trying to take care of my body more than so than ever because of this specific thing. So yeah. 
But he said I'm a special patient. He brought my sister in. My sister told me all the information that I just told you guys. Um, and now I have the same thing as my sister. So we both have Andrew and Mishiosis. If I can't say it, I'm sorry. But I'm going to put a picture right here explaining what it is and what it contains. It's crazy to me how so many girls make so yeah, basically right now in the recovery stage, so I have a, like a waist charter like you guys use when you go work out um, holding knee. We call it a faja in Spanish. Uh, so it's holding knee so I don't bend or I don't do things I'm not supposed to do until I have the all clear that I can do those things again. So uh, when my best friend Anthony was here, he was taking care of me. He was making me food. <laughs> helping me and you know just just really being there and and being a really good sport so thank you Anthony for that uh but trust me it was a lot I was in pain I was very not the nicest person um it's just when I'm in pain and I can't do stuff for myself it kind of bothers me I'm not a person that I like to ask for help when I know I need it so for me to be like this, like, oh, you can't do this because you physically can't do it, it it's killing me inside. But I know it's for the better for me. And in the long run, it's going to help me in the future. So, of course, when I go on Monday, they're going to check it. They're going to see my stitches. They're going to see how it's doing. They're also going to tell me, hey, you can do this now. Or, hey, you still can't do this. So we'll find out on Monday all of that details. Uh, we also probably find out what birth control they're going to put me on or if I choose to use which birth control they uh, put me on. So that is gonna be an update on that video. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, basically that's what's gonna happen to the channel. And then for Instagram, what's gonna happen with Instagram is that we are gonna switch it up. So I'm probably gonna have two separate Instagram. One is gonna show the results of the people with the products and the results with running the business and then my regular Instagram is just gonna be me having fun and joining my life um, I want to do it like that I don't really think that's gonna work out but we're gonna try for a first few days and we'll see how that works uh, basically it's because I feel like with my Instagram with all the stuff that I do I do modeling on the side I do photo shoots on the side I I do a lot of things on the side that they don't correspond to what I'm doing and I feel like nobody has a single clue of what I'm trying to accomplish or what I'm doing. So it's good. I keep you in the mystery and I keep you online. But it's also bad because you guys don't get to see the results that we want to show you. So that's basically what I'm going to do as well as I'm basically going to show you guys as well. The Instagram that I'm planning to do is strictly business. That's just going to be the business side. So if you do really want to sign up with me, go to that one. If you really do want to try out the products or anything like that, go that one as well i'm gonna link it down below so it's gonna have three different instagrams it's gonna be my main then the one with the product and then everything else so we're just gonna figure that out sooner or later so we're getting on that little train anyway so yeah i had like a swollen right on my lip i'm pretty sure it's not there anymore but it was really swollen my shoulder was hurting a lot i was in a lot of pain I still am but it's the recovery stage you know you go through surgery and you're of course you're gonna be in pain for a little bit but I have pills so I'm good now they had to go through my belly button so they went through my belly button in order to go to my left and to my right now on my left side I have two openings why because he had to take out that pollock and that cyst so they took out the one from this side and then when he went with a camera inside of my ovary, obviously, uh, they saw two cysts growing on my left side in my fallopian tube, which was shocking to me because I didn't know. And it was so scary because I was like, oh my God, I didn't even know this, guys. I found this out when I woke up. I had surgery at 2 and I woke up at 6.30. So imagine that. You wake up, you have no idea where you are, you just remember being prepared for a surgery and they knock you out. Because, yeah, <laughs> they knock you out. To do this surgery, you need to be asleep. So it's crazy. But it's all good. Good things happen. And I'm here to say that I am grateful that I did this surgery. Very grateful. 
so yeah basically right now in the recovery stage so i have a like a waist trainer like you guys use when you go work out um holding knee we call it a faja in spanish uh so it's holding me so i don't bend or i don't do things i'm not supposed to do until i have the all clear that i can do those things again so uh when my best friend anthony was here he was taking care of me he was making me food <laughs> helping me and you know just just really being there and and being a really good sport so thank you anthony for that uh but trust me it was a lot I was in pain. I was very not the nicest person. Um, it's just when I'm in pain and I can't do stuff for myself, it kind of bothers me. I'm not a person that I like to ask for help when I know I need it. So for me to be like this, like, oh, you can't do this because you physically can't do it, it it's killing me inside. But I know it's for the better for me. And in the long run, it's going to help me in the future. So of course, when I go on Monday, they're going to check it. They're going to see my stitches. They're going to see how it's doing. They're also going to tell me, hey, you can do this now. Or, hey, you still can't do this. So we'll find out on Monday all of that details. Uh, we also probably find out what birth control they're going to put me on or if I choose to use which birth control they uh, put me on. So that is going to be an update on that video. So, yeah, we'll see. Okay, so, yeah, basically that's what's going to happen to the channel. And then for Instagram, what's going to happen with Instagram is that we are going to switch it up. So I'm probably going to have two separate Instagram. One is going to show the results of the people with the products and the results with running the business. And then my regular Instagram is just going to be me having fun and joining my life. Um, I want to do it like that. I don't really think that's going to work out, but we're going to try for a first few days and we'll see how that works. Uh, basically, it's because I feel like with my Instagram, with all the stuff that I do, I do modeling on the side, I do photo shoots on the side, I, I do a lot of things on the side that they don't correspond to what I'm doing. And I feel like nobody has a single clue of what I'm trying to accomplish or what I'm doing. So it's good. I keep you in the mystery and I keep you online. But it's also bad because you guys don't get to see the results that we want to show you. So that's basically what I'm going to do as well as I'm basically going to show you guys as well. The Instagram that I'm planning to do is strictly business. That's just going to be the business side. So if you do really want to sign up with me, go to that one. If you really do want to try out the products or anything like that, go that one as well i'm gonna link it down below so it's gonna have three different instagrams it's gonna be my main then the one with the product and then everything else so we're just gonna figure that out sooner or later so we're getting on that little train